um, welcome to Aston Villa. First of all, just tell us how pleased you are to be here. Uh, I'm really pleased. Um, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, it's a big club. Uh, I can't wait to get started. Um, yeah. Just tell us a bit about how the move came around from your perspective. Yeah, I've been waiting a couple of days. Uh, Thursday, I was in training with my old team. Friday, uh, I got permission to, to talk to Aston Villa. I uh, flew here Saturday. Um, yesterday, I did a medical and then, yeah, today I'm a Villa player. So um, it went fast uh, and I'm really happy. And what have you been sold? Why did you want to come here? Uh, obviously, it's a big club. Uh, it's uh, yeah, a club that belongs in the Premier League. Um, they almost almost uh, clinched the promotion last year, and um, yeah, um, I'm looking forward to be uh, a part of this big club and uh, to play in front of the fans. Uh, I've heard they are quite fantastic. Um, can't wait to experience that myself. And um, yeah. Um, it's a big club, as I said, and uh, I want to be a part of it. You've spoken to Steve Bruce and the owners as well. What did they say to you? Um, not yet. I haven't met them personally. Uh, I'm also looking forward to that. Uh, and then, um, yeah, we'll, we'll build on from that. You become the fourth first-team goalkeeper here now. You can have some competition on your hands. Are you ready for that? Yeah, I'm ready. Uh, I want to take that challenge. Uh, and um, as I said, I want to play in front of our fans and uh, show my qualities. Unquestionably, though, your target is that, that number one spot. Yeah, definitely. Uh, you'll know Aston Villa, of course, through John Carew as well, one of the club's best ever players. What was your impressions of the club growing up as a teenager from afar? Yeah, obviously the interest in Aston Villa was quite big in Norway, also when, uh, when John Carew played, uh, played here. Um, so I watched quite a lot of Villa games uh, growing up. I'm also looking forward to being a part of, of this, this uh, history of the club and uh, hopefully I can uh, take part in bringing it back to where it belongs. Have you ever met him personally? Uh, no, uh, I've just uh, seen him on the national team and uh, yeah, uh, as he was playing for Villa and other clubs as well. Um, but he had quite a lot of success here and uh, that's uh, something I want to experience as well. You've got one small link to a member of the dressing room already, Birke Bjarnason. Just tell us a bit about that. You've spent a bit of time with him over the weekend. Yeah, uh, Birke is a nice guy and uh, we have the same agent. So, so we, we, we come along, he also speaks Norwegian. And uh, yeah, um, that would be helpful here in the first time. And you've won titles back home and played a lot of international football as well. Do you really think that experience can help here? Yeah, I hope so. Uh, I want to win games and I'm a winner. Um, I definitely want to achieve things with this club uh, as well and uh, I'll use my experience to, to, to win football games and um, then, um, yeah, that's, uh, that's my goal as well. And just lastly, what does success look like this season for you? Uh, obviously, they were really close last year, uh, getting promoted and uh, that's uh, something I want to achieve with this team as well, uh, I'm sure. Uh, everybody here wants that and uh, we want to bring the club back where it belongs. Um, that's obviously my goal and then of course, uh, yeah, f for myself, uh, play every game and then uh, keep the goal clean.